Hey, what's up, guys? It's Sports Blitz here, and we're back with another NFL mock draft. Before I get into it, guys, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. Guys, we're almost to 1,300 subscribers. That's a really big goal. I I really only hit 1,200 um, like a week and a half ago, so it was super recent. So, you know, I appreciate the support. Keep it up. Um, and again, make sure to leave a like on the video. But yeah, let's go ahead and get on into it. Um, I think now that we're getting a little bit closer to the draft, um, there's a lot of picks that could go either way. Okay, so just because I don't pick your absolute favorite guy to your team doesn't mean that I'm ruling out the possibility of them drafting him. Like, for instance, say for, say for the Texans. Just because I would go with maybe like a Kyle Hamilton or Kayvon Thibodeau doesn't mean that, um, you know, they may not go with Derek Stingley or Aiden Hutchinson if he's on the board. So just just keep that in mind throughout the draft. Like there's I know my mock isn't going to be 100 percent accurate. No one, no one's mock is ever 100 percent accurate. So let's just have fun with it and get on into it. So number one, I'm going to go with Aiden Hutchinson. Um, I think they'll go ahead and, you know, keep Cam Robinson. Um, I mean, they've they, they franchise tagged him this year. So obviously they like him there. So number two, I'm going to go KT to the Lions. Um, I think he has really high upside. Him and Jermaine Johnson, like I've mentioned before, are really close for me. Um, I like Jermaine Johnson a lot more than a lot of other people, so that's why he's so high on my board. But yeah, if if K if KT can really reach his potential, he can be honestly, in my opinion, maybe better than Aiden Hutchinson. He has some insanely high upside. Um, it's just a matter of if he's going to reach that full potential. Then for the Texans, I'm going to go ahead and go with Kyle Hamilton. Uh, Jets here. I'm going to go, you know, I've heard a lot of rumors the last few days and I know not every rumor is true. Okay. But sometimes, sometimes, Hey, we've got to give it some energy. Um, you know, sometimes they're pretty true. I hear there's been a real possibility that the, um, Jets, Texans and Giants all really, really like Ahmad Gardner. So I'm going to go sauce Gardner here to the Jets. I think they could really use the um, upgrade in their secondary. <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of their cornerback room. I know a lot of Jets fans are going to hate that. They don't want to go corner here. They, you know, they want the sexy pick of an edge rusher or, or a wide receiver or something like that. But Sauce Gardner will become a, a cornerstone player for that franchise, and you're not going to regret it. So number five with the Giants. I'm going to go with um, Icky Kamakuono. Um, I mean, it's really close with him and Evan Neal. Um, I know Evan Neal's probably a safer pick, and usually in this position, I usually have them take Evan Neal. Um, but I hear that they're not really actively shopping Saquon Barkley, so maybe they want to get the run game going a lot better. And I think I think Icky is a much better run blocking tackle. So, you know, pair him up with Andrew Thomas. You're going to have some pretty good tackles for, you know, to to block for Saquon. Then for the Carolina Panthers, I'm going to keep this one quick. I'm a Panthers fan. I want Malik Willis. If he's on the board here, I think that's what they should do and I think it will be either him or Kenny Pickett. That's just my opinion. I think they go quarterback regardless. Um, seven for the Giants. I'm going to go with Jermaine Johnson. Like I said, I'm insanely high on him. Now, Trayvon Walker is really good too. I don't want that to get twisted. Walker is really good. But, I mean, if, if Jermaine Johnson's there, I'm sorry. I just like him a little bit more than Walker. Um, eight for the Falcons. I'm going to go ahead and go with, <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to go with Trayvon Walker here. Um, really help that pass rush. 
Number nine, the Seahawks are on the board, and I'm going to go ahead and go with Evan Neal. I'm sure a lot of Seahawks fans would be absolutely stoked about that pick. Um, they really need to fix the offensive line. Sounds like they may lose Dwayne Brown in free agency. Um, he hasn't signed with anyone yet, but I'm not sure if they're going to be able to bring him back. So, yeah, Evan Neal would be an amazing replacement. Then the Jets are back on the board, and I think here is a spot that you could go um, with kind of a sexier pick of maybe, a, you know, maybe a wide receiver like Garrett Wilson or Drake London. Um, now, I don't know <clears throat> who all of the Jets fans like, but I personally think Zach Wilson throwing to Garrett Wilson would be a really good combination though I also think Drake London and Traylon Burks would be a good fit there as well so there's other guys that could work out too but right now we're gonna go <coughs> excuse me we're gonna go with Garrett Wilson then 11 the Washington Commanders still getting used to that are on the board and I know Commanders fans hate me at this point it's nothing new I'm gonna go Derek Stingley they really need to fix their, their their secondary, especially their corners. It was really bad this last year. So, yeah, Derek Stingley would be a good guy to do so. Um, number 12, since both Sauce Gardner and Derek Stingley are off the board, plus they did re-sign Patrick Peterson earlier, um, which, before I get into that, um, I don't think them re-signing him rules out the possibility of them drafting a corner um, if Gar if Zoss Gardner or Derek Stingley are on the board because, you know, it was only, I, I believe it was only a one-year deal. And, I mean, Patrick Peterson's getting older. He's, he's going to be really good in the immediate future, but he's not going to be, like, a long-term solution. So if one of those guys are on the board here, I think they can still very well take him. But since they're not <coughs> in this case, I'm going to go ahead and go with Jordan Davis. I think I think they would greatly benefit from that. So then at number 13 for the Texans. Um, ooh, I think. Honestly, if the board falls this way, it wouldn't be a terrible idea for the Texans to trade back. Um, I promised Texans fans before because they were roasting me so much about taking a tackle. I promised them I wouldn't have them take a tackle anymore, even though I'm not all that confident in Titus Howard. Just being honest here. Um, <clears throat> but I also don't want to hear any complaining from Texans fans that their offensive line is bad. So, yeah, we're not going to go tackle because I promised you guys. I think let's go. I don't really see Andrew Booth as a good fit for the Texans. I like Andrew Booth a lot, but he just doesn't seem like a Texan to me. I don't know. Um, I'm thinking right here. I think we're I think we're going to go with Drake London. I think he'd be a really good weapon for um, Davis Mills. So 14 um, for the Ravens. I'm going to go ahead and go with Andrew Booth right here. I think he would be a really good replacement for uh, Marcus Peters if they're not able to re-sign him this next, well, after this season. Um, I mean, I'm sure he's probably going to command a lot of money. I'm not sure the Ravens are going to give that to him where they already have Marlon Humphrey. And yeah, Andrew Booth would be a great replacement. 15 for the Eagles. Um, I'm kind of I'm going to do kind of what I normally do here. Get give them Devin Lloyd. Still a really big fan of him. Still my top linebacker in the draft. Um, then I think we're going to go Trent McDuffie for this next one. Pair him up with uh, Darius Slay. I really like that a lot. Um, 17 gonna go Charles Cross to the Chargers I know I I know so many other people don't have the Charger or Charles Cross falling this far um 
I think he's going to be a good tackle. Okay? He's not falling because he's a bad tackle or anything. Just, I think people underestimate how much really good talent is in the rest of this draft in general. And, I mean, you look at teams like... Honestly, I don't think the Jets really need a tackle. You know, Vikings, I don't think really, you know, at least not desperately need a tackle. According to Texans fans, they don't need a tackle. Um, Ravens don't really need one all that bad. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's there's a real possibility Charles Cross could fall this far. You know, then you pair him up with Rashawn Slater, have one of the youngest but Honestly, probably one of the best tackle tandems in the league. I really like that fit. So then for the Saints, um, you know, I'm going to go Chris Olave here. I usually go Jameson Williams, but I think Chris Olave could also be a solid deep threat because of his speed. But his route running is so much better than Jameson Williams. And I think in the Saints system, they could they could do anything. Um, with him as a receiver. So, um, 19, the Eagles are back on the board, and I'm going to go ahead and give them Jameson Williams. I think, um, I think giving Jalen Hurts a good weapon this season is really going to help his, um, I, I guess really help his performance go up quite a bit. Um, I mean, I like Jalen Hurts. I don't think they should, you know, get rid of him. I know a lot of people have uh, kind of disrespected him for quite a while, but I'm a big fan of Jalen Hurts, personally. 20, the Steelers are on the board, and I'm going to go ahead and go with Kenny Pickett. Um, yeah, I think if he's on the board, I think they 100%, <coughs> I think they 100% take him. 21, the um, Patriots are on the board. And honestly, I'm kind of eyeing down uh, Jahan Dotson. I think the Patriots would love to have Dotson right here. Um, now, I've never had him go above Traylon Burks. Um, and again, guys, I love I love Burks, okay? Overall, he's still my number one wide receiver. But it really depends on the system he's in. I think he's got to be in a system with um, a quarterback that is good at throwing in the red zone, okay? Um, I think Burks, where he's really going to succeed, is in the red zone making, you know, big contested catches, um, you know, and honestly breaking breaking tackles, you know, getting yards after contact. Um, I think where the Packers lost Devontae Adams, who was kind of a touchdown machine, I think Traylon Burks would be a good replacement there. Uh, the Cardinals are on the board now, and I'm going to go ahead and go with Kyrie Lom. I've been saying multiple times, I, I love this kid. He's insanely talented. Um, so yeah. Then the Cowboys are on the board, and there's honestly a few different ways they could go here. Okay. So right off the bat, I mean, they lost Lyle Collins. They could go Trevor Penning. Okay. They could honestly go Devontae Wyatt. I usually have them go either Zion Johnson or Tyler Linderbaum or even Kenyon Green. George Karloftis is an option as well, okay? So literally any of these top guys right <coughs> right here. Sorry, guys. I Ever since get, I got sick a few weeks ago, my lungs have been like super bad. So anytime I'm talking for an extended period, I cough. So I'm not sick anymore. I just... Being sick a while ago made my lungs kind of bad. So, anyways, so yeah, I think they could go with any of these guys here. And I think right here, it's gotta be. I think we're gonna go with Zion Johnson. I think he is a good fit there in Dallas. Um, then the Bills are on the board. I think, honestly. I mean, like, looking at the remaining corners here, I mean, I like Kyler Gordon. I like Roger McCreary. Um, I actually have Roger McCreary with a first-round grade, but, like, very end of the first round. Honestly, 
I bet if they waited, they could probably get either Tariq Woolen or, or Kyler Gordon um, in in the end of the second round. So I think we'll go ahead and hold off right here on corner and take Tyler Linderbaum and really, really help that interior offensive line. Um, this kind of a both the best player available type of situation, and they really need to just be able to run the ball. So Linderbaum would be an absolute huge help for that. Then the Titans are on the board, and I think we're going to go ahead and just go with Trevor Penning. Guys, it's been a while since I've had Penning fall this far. I'm not sure how realist realistic it is that he does fall this far. <coughs> he's a he's a damn good player. Sorry, I forgot I need to not swear because I'm monetized now. Um, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, but yeah, now the Bucks are on the board. I think where they... Yeah, I, I want to say it was Ali Marpet that retired um, right after Brady did. You know, it was also before Brady came back. Um, I think it was Ali Marpet that retired in there. Plus, they did lose Alex Kappa in free agency, so they could use a guard or two. I'm going to go Kenyon Green. I And I think I think he could be a pro bowler with the rest of that Packers O line. Er, Bucks O line. Sorry, I was looking at the Packers logo right here when I was saying that. But yeah, with the rest of the Bucks O line. Um, 28, the Packers are on the board. Honestly, guys, I don't think we should completely rule out the possibility of the Packers going back to back receivers. And I'm a really big fan of Sky Moore um, and Christian. I really like Moore, Watson, and Calvin Austin clear down here. Um, it may be a little early for Austin. I don't think he's quite a first rounder just because of his size. But I'm going to go Sky Moore right here. Um, you know, I, I, I don't think they'll be shy about, um, about getting another receiver. So then for the Chiefs pick at number 29, I think what we're going to do is I think we're going to go David Ajabo right here. I think they're going to take a risk on him with his injury. And then let's see. Let me think of who their linebacking core is. So they've got Nick Bolton. Um... Jermaine Carter and Willie Gay. Um, now I think Nick Bolton and Willie Gay are okay, and Jermaine Carter has a decent upside if he works out. I'm not sure I'd be super comfortable with him there. So where Nicobe Dean can play middle linebacker, I mean that's definitely a real option. Um. Not sure there's really any wide receivers I love here at number 30. We could definitely go Daxton Hill as well, where they're probably going to lose Tyron Matthew. And I think with that, I think they'd have a bigger hole at safety than they would at linebacker. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and go Daxton Hill. Um, then the Bengals are on the board. I think let's go ahead and go Devontae Wyatt, help the interior D-line. And then lastly for the Lions, I'm going to go ahead and go with Nakobe Dean. Um, I think he'd really fit well in Dan Campbell's system. So let me know what you thought of this, thought of this mock draft. I'm sure so many of you guys are going to hate it but i'm sure there's probably some of you guys in there that will like it so um yeah just let me know in the comments section below again be sure to smash that like button and subscribe really help me get to 1300 subscribers that's a big goal for me um and yeah that's everything thanks for watching later